I haven't been able to do one of these in such a long time, so I'm really excited to be able to do uh, what is my current favorites and for you to see the things that I have been loving for the past few months. As most of you know, I kind of have been dealing with some health things, going back and forth, so I'm excited to be able to bring these to you. But before we do that, I always show you what I have on, and that's how we'll start today. And we will start with the numbering system that I have, one through however many products we talk about, and we've got a lot of products products to talk about today that I'm excited about. So I'm going to show you what I have on. We'll number those and you can go down into the description box and look for the number and next to it will be the product with any information you may need and the link if you choose to, if you choose to shop that way. Let's get going. Okay, for today's shirt, I just put on this really fun button down, kind of a light shirt as far as its weight. It's got a cute little ruffle sleeve right here. It comes just as a cap sleeve kind of there. And I just tied it at the waist and I paired it with a pair of my new favorite jeans, which are these white jeans. And I just have barely been enjoying all of these different color jeans that I've been getting lately. And these are a very straight fit jean. They're, they are a skinny jean. But as far as them being kind of curvy or, you know, whatnot, they're extremely stretchy. I should say that. But they are kind of a straighter jean, just so you know that as well. So I think that if you kind of have a trouble, you know, if you have a bigger rear than I do, because I my butt is so flat, it's ridiculous. But if you do have a little bit bigger booty, that you might want to size up just one just to accommodate that. And I am very jealous of you, just so you know that. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to look at all the other stuff and get going here on the rest of the video. I am really surprised at how many palettes. I have in this particular haul video. I found this palette and I'm so excited to bring it to you because all of you know that the majority of the palettes on the market these days are very warm toned palettes and a lot of us can't wear those oranges, those yellows, those really warm browns that they have in those palettes. So I found this Delancey Gray Smoke 16 color eyeshadow palette and I've been wearing it like crazy. I have been having just so much fun with it. You can see that it has all kinds of cool tones up here. Even the brown is a neutral brown, which I love, absolutely love it. And what I also like about it is that these are on a medium pigment side, which means that you're going to be able to build them up, but they're not going to get too built up too quickly, say if you got too much on your brush. So there's not a ton of fallout like there might be with some other high-end shadows, which I like as well. And then we have some just absolutely gorgeous metallics in here. They're just so pretty. So this palette to me was a home run. I There was not one in here that I didn't like. And for the price, I thought it was exceptionally good. Also, I was so excited to see that Alter Ego came out with the Midsummer palette. And this has been everywhere. So I'm not going to take a lot of time to tell you guys about it. But just know that it is pretty close on an alternative to the Honest Anastasia Nouveau palette. And the really only difference to me is the packaging and the way that they're laid out. But I love this new Midsummer palette. I love the greens that are in here. They just seem to be these greens that just really brighten up your face and are so pretty. You have khaki greens in here. Then you have this beautiful soft lilac in here. I just think it's so pretty great quality on these as well and i did use these in my last video my previous video to this one and i compared the two of these and you couldn't tell the difference and you can tell the difference when you look at the price tag so i definitely feel like that was a really good one and then catrice i love catrice you guys i talk about catrice all the time i think it's one of the better brands at the drugstore. They came out with a whole lot of new palettes that are this size. And let me see, I think these are all eight pan. I'm pretty sure they're all eight pan. And I do have the rose one on my eyes today. So gorgeous. I love that they gave you a lot of lights, but they took you into the darks too, so that if you're deeper toned, you can warm up that look or deepen up that look, not necessarily warm. They do have several other colors that I didn't have in front of me. I don't even know what I've done with them, but this one was the rose one that I just showed you. So gorgeous. The colors are just outstanding. The formula is outstanding. I really love what they've done with these. This one is the nude one. They also have an all matte 
that one, which I thought was just awesome because how many times do companies come out with all matte ones? They don't hardly ever. So I am excited about these palettes. I think they're ones that you are going to love and I do like the quality. The mattes in them are superb for blending out, not getting patchy, not skipping. I just really have been enjoying all of these. Besides the matte one, I can't think of what the other ones are, but you're gonna really like them, I think, if you can find a color scheme that you're really in love with. Now, I do have one fail this month as far as palettes go, and that was from the Joa Color Haul, and I'm not sure which one this is, but, oh, First Dance. This one is set up a lot like the Urban Decay ones are. The thing is, is that almost every single one of the shimmers in here is just, it's yucky. Uh, they're worthless as far as I'm concerned. There's no payoff to them. You cannot build them up. I did notice that this one right here that is like the ones that are in Huda Beauty's palettes, this one with the kind of beads in there, that one is a duochrome. However, it doesn't stay a duochrome. It just mixes. So what I mean by that is on your finger, and I don't even know if you'll be able to see that or not, but as you pick it up on your finger, you have this duochrome. But, and even when you swatch it, you have a duochrome. But once you start to blend it together, it no longer becomes a duochrome. It's just one color that's mixed for a couple of different chrome colors. So I was really disappointed in these and I'm not planning on getting any of the other ones. Joa is not my favorite brand ever. I did also try their mascara this month and it was a fail for me as well, the new mascara they have. Um, I have tried their Prime, I think it's Prime Nation or Prime Foundation, something like that. And it's not really working for me either. So I'm kind of at the point where I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm going to be picking up anything from Joa anymore. If you have stuff that you know of that has just been a home run for you, I am happy to try them out and see whether or not they will work for me. I'm always open to those suggestions. Okay, switching gears. I'm going to be all over the place in this video today because I feel like I have some of the funnest things and you're going to think I'm crazy when I do this, but why is this so much fun? Okay, I was hanging all of my pants or my skirts on a hanger like this, which you can do, but it has a tendency to make the waist of your skirts kind of a mess when you're hanging them like this. I found online these clips that you can put right down onto your hanger and they turn into those great pant clips that we get at the stores. You can also make this a double one. One set of them on this upper deck right here or whatever you wanna call it, and one set right down here on this lower rung. So these are great. I have absolutely loved getting my closet in order. I'm actually a little bit uh, OCD about these and having all of my family these clothes on one color and of course it's gonna have to be purple but they have a million colors if you're interested in these at all I am really excited that we finally get to start experiencing summer I think that it's gonna end up turning off really hot really quickly unfortunately however I did in this video want to bring you three different pairs of sandals because I have some sandals that have turned out to be so fun cute sandals and they're very comfortable too. And I probably have brought these to you in past videos, but I wanted to make sure that I brought them to you again today. And I'm not gonna be modeling these right now. Um, I'm kind of a little bit unsteady with my pots at the moment. So I'm just going to sit here and tell you all about the things. So these right here are a gold color. They do come in lots of colors. What I also like about them is that they have this little, about a one and a half inch heel, but these have a ton of cushion in them. They don't hurt my feet. They don't pinch across, you know, the instep right there. I really have been enjoying these. They do have the elastic, so they're gonna fit just about everybody that wears them. Um, if you do have a wider foot, these might not work for you. These are so much fun, and I have loved every second of them. They're just so darn cute and really go with so many things. I just really love these. I also do know that I showed you, I think in my very last video, these sandals from Skechers. And the reason I'm showing them to you again is because these have been so easy for me to wear, even though they have about a two and a half, three inch heel on them. The heel, the platform up here is about an inch. So it takes that heel down quite a bit, but I love how comfortable these are. Again, across the instep, they don't pinch me. I can wear them all day. 
I feel great wearing them all day and I have just been absolutely loving these and I'm so glad that I got this pair as well. I really have shied away from getting this bone color. I don't know why. I have several different other kinds of shoes in this color, but I love the detailing on this. You wouldn't think that these were Skechers and especially sandals. So I really love these and I think these are also some that you guys are going to love. And lastly, I think I showed these to you last month, but again, I want to show them to you because we are coming up on sandal season. These do come in a bunch of colors and these are a completely flat sandal. And boy, these have so much memory foam in them and they are so comfortable. And they have the cutest little rhinestones and blingy flowers and just all kinds of fun stuff on them. So I am really, really in love with these. And I just ordered another pair of these because of how comfortable the black ones were. I ordered a, ordered them in another color. These, of course, because they don't have that higher heel, are the most comfortable out of all of them. But I do think that probably the Skechers have the best width on them if you do have a wide foot. These would be these might not be for you. They might be a little bit too narrow for you, but all of these are really true to size and even some of them do have a wide width of their own. I love these sandals, all of them, and I'm so excited about them. Now, I was going to tell you about my jewelry earlier and I missed out on that. Sorry. So here we go. Well, let's talk about the jewelry. The jewelry is diamond cut silver. So these are just regular chains, but they are in a diamond cut. What that means is they either have 925 silver overlay or they are 925 silver and they actually have this diamond cut that looks like a cubic zirconium or diamonds that just glisten. I love the hoops. And then this set right here is the set that comes as a set of necklaces and it comes as the set of two. And I love these as well. I wear these all the time. I'll wear one at a time. I'll wear them both at, a, at the same time. I'll put other necklaces with them. They are so, so versatile. I love them. I feel like they are just primo for anybody. While we're sitting here and we're talking about that diamond cut, I have to tell you about this gorgeous bracelet that I got. Now this is in a flower motif with the silver color. And I don't often find things that come in silver that I'm really, really impressed with, but I am really impressed with this. I love how it catches the light and how beautiful it carries off the light because of the CZs in it or the rhinestones in it. Just so pretty. Um, I think this one is about a seven inch. Just really beautiful. Works great for me. I'm not sure if they have other ones that are a bigger sizes or smaller sizes. But just go take a peek at the listing and you should be able to find that out. One of the other things I wanted to show you as far as jewelry goes is I have absolutely through this whole year fallen in love with these hoops. Now they are a chunky hoop as you can see, but what is the great thing about them is they come in such a variety of sizes and all of the sizes come in all of the colors, which is great. Rose gold, silver, and gold. And what's great about them beyond the colors and beyond the sizes is that they are hollow. So they're super duper light, not heavy at all. By the way, these earrings that I do have on today, they're not heavy either. I am a person that always keeps their eye out on these earrings and to find out whether or not they're going to be heavy because I don't want my ears pulled down. I've seen so many of my female members of my family with their ears pulled down and it looks terrible. But yes, as I age, I wanna make sure that that's not tugging too hard on my ears and these don't, they're very light and I think you're gonna really like. All right, back to a couple of beauty items. I got this set of two brushes and they're both very fluffy brushes. You can see that one is a little bit bigger than the other one, but I've been using them nonstop for powder and blush and bronzer. And I really like them. I think that they are some of the softest brushes that I have ever used. Have the rose gold handle on them. And of course the pink brush or the blush pink, bleh, 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 say that 10 times, blush pink brush on the end. And really fun, really great way to just buff out all of your powders. I have been having all kinds of fun with these and I love that they came in these two sizes. And even though you might not need both sizes when you get them, you're like, okay, I can find a use for these. So this was really fun for me. I also wanted to tell you that I am so happy 
that I found this sleek anti-humidity shine coat. Okay, this product right here, the Color Wow Dream Coat that everybody talks about. Now you don't have to use this every single time you wash your hair. You do it about every third time you wash your hair, maybe every other time if your hair is really coarse. But this right here, not only is it an anti-frizz product, it is a shine product and it is a heat protectant but this one that is the one that's called sleek is a fraction of the cost and it does the exact same thing and the ingredients are pretty darn close and i just feel like definitely pick this one up if you've been wanting to try the color well i realize that our budgets don't always work into like 26 dollars for one product but you're gonna get such a price break that I think you'll really be happy that I got to show you this one. So I definitely wanted to show you this and tell you that it is every bit the beautiful shine coat that the Color Wow is and the sleek one is just so great. One of the products that absolutely shocked me the past two months, probably maybe even three months, I've been, you know, using it, using it, using it because I wanted to make sure, you know, sometimes when you recommend products, you get to using them longer. And as, they, as time goes by, you realize, well, maybe it wasn't that great in all kinds of weather. And that's what I wanted to find out about this. This is the Milani Skin Quench Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid and Coconut Water. Take Take note of that coconut, because if you're allergic to coconut, you don't want to get this one. But it has 50% more than their last tubes did, and I love, love, love this primer. This primer to me is so much like the Tatcha primer that I fell in love with not very long ago. It's also so much like the Calorie one that everybody has lost their noodle about. I think that this is a great primer. What I love about it is it does have a little bit of a grip to it too. So you're getting almost like one of those um, Hydro Grip from Milk Makeup or the e.l.f. gripping primer. So you're getting hydration, you're getting the longevity of your makeup, you're getting the pore filling, and you're getting that grip. What more could you ask for in a primer? I just have really been enjoying this one. By the way, if you're an oily gal, you might not like this as much as somebody that is normal to dry. You might need to skip it. Now, you guys, I wanna show you this. You guys know that the Alpha Skin Care Body Renewal Lotion, the 12% glycolic acid, this is what I have been telling everybody to use for years. This goes back a very long time for me, a bottle after bottle of using it on my scaly dry skin. But what I didn't know is that Alpha Skin Care, they have a bunch of other products. So guess what I did? I bought this product right here. This is the Alpha Skin Care Real Results 15% retinol product and I do really like this. I use it in between using my Trentinoin, which is, you know, the powerhouse prescription one, but I want to kind of keep that up as I go along through the week. I do have several different retinols that I really like that I use, but this one I have come to really like as well. Now this is a smaller tube, so you don't need very much. And what I would do with this, because it is a smaller tube, is I'm using it strategically. So I have the, the deeper lines that are right here above my eyes and out here on, you know, smile lines out there and I've been really kind of just using it strategically. My lip lines, oh my goodness, my vertical lip lines are out of control these days, but this has really been really good in between treatment. So I love having something like this and it, this one doesn't break the bank and that's even better when you're looking at something for me that is cost effective and also something that works really good and I've been enjoying the heck out of this one. I wanted to also show you this. This is a big daddy. <laughs> This is a bifida biome ampule from Manyo. I don't know how to say it. M A N Y O, but it has a period in there. So M A period N Y O. Okay. The reason that I am in love with this is it's a big, huge bottle. And this time of year is the time of year when I want to really give the rest of my body that starts showing. I mean, I don't show my legs. I don't show my arms. I don't never show my belly to anybody during the winter months, let alone barely my husband. But I really do start to treat those other areas that get that crepey alligator skin. I start to treat them a lot. And so I got this because as you may or may not know, 
Bifida is the ingredient that is in Lancome Genifique and Estee Lauder Night Repair, the two best selling serums on the market across the world. Those sell like hotcakes. And this one has that bifida product in it that those only have like 10%. This is chocked full of bifida. So you not only can use this on your face if you want to, but I use this everywhere, all over my arms, all over my legs. It's a huge bottle, splurge, drown yourself in it. I just think it's so nice. I also have been really treating my body with these two products that are at the drugstore that I feel like are super effective. I heard about this from a gal on TikTok, and if I can remember her handle, I will put it down below. More than likely, I won't be able to find it because I did look for it already and I just couldn't find it. But she talked about how these two products right here from Gold Bond have changed her crepey skin game. She talks about how when she gets out of the shower, she will put the crepe corrector on and this one has um, omega fatty acids, antioxidants, and botanicals in it. 82% of women visibly saw improvements in their crepey skin in just two days, which I don't know about that, but I'm sure I'm really noticing a difference in my crepey skin. It's definitely getting better as it gets exfoliated and hydrated. And then this one right here is the Radiance Renewal, Radiance Renewal Hydrating Lotion. This one is the one that exfoliates, hydrates, and locks in the moisture barrier, locks in the moisture into skin for the moisture barrier for 24 hours. And I do feel like you stay hydrated for that long. Now, I know that some of you know that I recently had surgery and I have been using both of these and I love them. I really, really love them because my skin is getting so dry. And anybody that's been through menopause, unless you are the exception, after you've been through menopause, your skin gets so dry. And this is like a one-two punch. Actually, it's a one-two-three punch because I'll use the Bifida ampule on it and then I'll use one of these lotions and then I'll use the other one on top of them. And I just have found that my skin is really soft, really supple, and it's changing. It's not that alligator skin so much anymore. So really am happy to recommend those to you. Now, if you can't reach on your back, and I've shown this before, but I'm gonna show it again because this thing has been a lifesaver. This is an applicator for your lotions or your tanning products onto your back and it works so good it really works really good you have the handles on either end it's long enough to go around my butt and be able to get back there <laughs> anywhere i need to get and i love it even my husband likes using it and the nice thing about it is after we're done you can throw it in the washer and it comes out just as beautiful as this every single time this is a not limber person's dream because i'm not very limber but boy i can get my lotion wherever i want it to go with this so definitely like that so much all right i want to show you a pair of heels and i know that not everybody can wear heels and they can be you know challenging if you have back problems or anything but there are times when i just love wearing heels i'm i can't wear heels all the time either but there are times when i really want to wear heels to a very dressy occasion or not but what i found are these and the reason that i was so excited to show you these is their color there are so few companies that sell colored shoes anymore as far as pretty bright colors. And yeah, maybe I'm a little bit nuts. I don't know, but I like wearing this kind of thing because it just makes me feel pretty when my shoes and my dress match and more my shoes and my bag matches, one of the two. And if you're talking about needing something to be really comfortable, I have something next that I will help with that in wearing high heels. But they're about, I would say they're about a three inch, maybe a three and a half inch heel on there. And yeah, they're not the most comfortable, but like I said, there are times when I want to wear a heel and I want it to be matching. And I was so happy to find these. I have a couple of royal blue dresses and they went so pretty with them. And I got to wear them and I was like, felt really special, felt really good. Anyway, I really do like these. Now let me show you what I'm talking about when I talk about something that's gonna help you with these. Now, I think I may have shown these to you before. These right here are a pad that sits down on the bottom of your heel or the ball of your foot right there. And this little thing right here, these little holes right here, go your toes go in them. So you're, you don't show, this part doesn't show 
up through your shoe but right here you have all that extra padding for your feet in your shoes they don't slip around they don't come off i don't mind wearing them in between my toes and it drives me crazy to normally have anything in between my toes but these work so good and i'm so happy to find them and now that i'm thinking about it i have shown you guys these before white black blush and i think one the other color is a bone color or a cream color so you get a bunch of them in there you could even if you wanted to and you were having some extra pain in your feet you could wear two of them you could put two of them on and have the extra padding in there i love these i think they're genius and have really been enjoying them all right this right here is the elf's dupe to the benefit roller lash and I was never a fan of the Benefit Roller Lash, but I'm a super fan of the Roller Lash from Elf called Lash and Roll. Okay, I really like this. It's what I have on for a mascara today. It builds so well on itself and it's easy to take off at night, but it doesn't smudge and it doesn't flake. And I love that about it. It's got kind of a, just a little bit of a curve right there on the wand. It is a plastic bristle brush or the silicone bristle brush but I like that the bristles are a little bit smaller as well because then you can catch every little hair you have or every little lash that you have. And again, you can build and build and build and build and it gives you great lashes. So since I got this, I haven't been using any other mascara. I did try, like I said, I did try one from Joa that came out very recently and it was a clumpy mess. And so I'm like, nope, going back to the e.l.f. So this is a winner for me. And I definitely want to let you know that if you do wear the Benefit Roller Lash, you might like this one every bit as much and it's going to save you a whole lot of change. This product right here. I showed this in my video just a couple of videos ago. I mean, it may have been my last one. This is the Stands Out Makeup Sponge, and this is dry right now. You can use this wet, you can use it dry, whichever. You usually, what they tell you to do is to the first two or three times, two or three times that you use it, you go ahead and you get it damp and then really wring it out. It doesn't stay wet very long at all, but it's like a memory foam here, but it's the softest memory foam that you have ever used like soft 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 stuff and this will perfect my makeup i mean i i love my aoa sponges the the pink ones that are the dupe for the beauty blender sponges i like the beauty blender sponges but i think the aoa are way softer but i think that the stands out might be the best sponge that I've ever used to put on my makeup. Now I can tell you that I had one of these four years ago when she very first brought it out. She actually sent me one in PR and I used it once and did not like it and put it to the side. And that's, I just guess because I was so used to the beauty blender or the beauty sponges that I just really wasn't impressed with this. But I did watch a tutorial using this and she used it for just kind of, you know, blending out her makeup as she went along. Not even necessarily the whole, you know, application of her foundation and her concealer, which she did do, but it was more about how it made everything look airbrush as she went along. So she would put on her foundation and her concealer, then put her powder on, then go over it with this sponge. Then she'd put on her bronzer. Then she'd go over it with her sponge. Then she'd put on her highlighter or her blush and she'd go over it with her sponge. It made her makeup look like perfection. She just looked like she was absolutely airbrushed all over the place. And I thought, you know what? I probably should give this a try again because I was so impressed with that tutorial. And it really truly does make a world of difference in my skin and in how my makeup looks in blending together. Now, I have been one to take a, a brush like this and really blend everything together to make sure that my makeup was kind of blended together anyway, but there is nothing like using this and going over and just making sure everything is blended together with this sponge. This is awesome. Okay, let's round this video out with showing you this tool that I got. And yes, you're not seeing things. This looks just like a gua sha tool. And I have used gua sha for a long time to try and keep my jowls at bay and the waddle of my neck at bay. And I have really loved it. However, I saw this product 
on Amazon and I was like, oh my goodness, I bet that works really good. So what this is, is this is an electronic or battery operated, it's rechargeable, so you don't have to have batteries for it, excuse me. It's a rechargeable gua sha device. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn it on. It has four settings of high and low, it might be three might be three. So it has those settings, but as you can see right there, hopefully you can see that it just turned blue. So blue is the cool setting and you can do all of the things that you do with your gua sha, you know, get into your eyes, give them a good massage. But what's great about it is not only are you breaking apart those fibers that really can make our skin look pulled in certain places. Also, if you know anything about gua sha, it really does help to really activate the blood to the area of wherever you're treating. And it also does help to tighten the muscles. Well, what it does when you have one that's doing massage is it feels fantastic for one thing, but it also stimulates that blood supply even more. That blood supply is what helps to rebuild collagen and elastin in our face. So if we're doing this on a consistent basis, we're gonna notice that our skin is gonna be more radiant because you have that blood supply, but it's also gonna be tighter over time because you're activating the muscles and the elastin and the collagen. Okay. So there is the blue right there, and then you push it one more time and it's gonna turn red. And red is for warmth. So I loved this while I was going through all of my surgery and everything, because now it's getting warm in my hand and I would just do this forever because if I had a headache or whatever, I could turn it on cool and it really helped the headache, but I could turn it on warm and it helped so much with sinus pressure and everything. And I am in love with this. I bought three different kinds of these. Um, at different price points in order to be able to try them out for you. And this particular one is the one that I felt like was your best value and also delivered what I wanted, which was the different speeds of being uh, low, medium, high, and then the heat and the cool. Really, really great product and you don't have to have batteries again. Just charge it up and go and the charge lasts for a long time. This was a really, really good purchase for me and I think that you might like it too. All right, I think that's it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing all of the things that I've been loving that I haven't been able to bring to you in other videos very recently. Thanks so much for being with me today. I love you guys so very much. Hope that the sun is shining and things are going really good where you're at. Take care of yourselves and come see me really soon in my next video. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.